This is Ringo of Team Star. Would you like to join Team Star? It's my fan club. Hasta la vista! We could finish it today. The story, anyway. The uh, en engaging, thrilling high school drama that has been uh, Pokemon Scarlet. So where did we leave off? Uh, it's Tuesday. I streamed this on Sunday. I have... Uh, I leveled up Yuki a little bit. Currently level 50. I have, uh, I've started my living decks, so uh, I've been doing that off-stream. Still got some evolutions, some things to do. I'm still trying to get... I, I, got, I got, like, five male Cricketots. I need more females, because a lot of Gen 4 Pokémon have uh, gender difference forms. That's when they introduced it, and they really went nuts with the uh, very, very minute gender differences in Gen 4. So, I have Arvin, we know about. I gotta fight uh, cool guy Clive. And we have the Pokemon League, whose icon is Nimona, so probably a safe assumption that I will have at least one more fight with Nimona. Let's start with Arvin, because he was the first one we fought, and, uh... I think I can take him now. I think I'm ready. Maybe. Honestly, that's a big assumption, because I'm still, like, ten levels under him. Where is he? Oh, he's right here. I also kind of screwed myself, because, uh... After I finished the stream on Sunday, I thought, oh, hey, well, you know, I'm off stream. This would be a good time to do the classes. But uh, I cannot do the classes because uh, Clavel is now blocking the way into the academy. So that was some poor timing. Let's see what I got. Uh, his opening Pokemon, I believe, was Greedent. Which is a normal type. Mousehold is apparently genderless, by the way. I got uh, four lady Pokemon, and I got Junior, and I got Mousehold. I wonder if Mousehold can breed with other Mousehold. Because usually genderless Pokemon need a ditto. Mousehold might be weird, though. Mousehold is pretty weird. I guess if, it, if he's using normal types like Greedent, I should open with, uh, open with Breloom. Alright, our final bosses, Gordon Ramsay, Dumbledore, and Goku, in order of difficulty. playing the Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core remake that came out yesterday. I have heard the name. I know Vinny likes it. I don't know what Crisis Core is. It's like a is that like a spin-off. Well, that didn't change the dialogue at all choosing the other option for Arwen. Alright, you and me. Crisis Core is a prequel. Okay. Does that have to do with, uh... Does that have to do with Zack, I assume? Zack is who he gets the Buster Sword from, right? I know little tidbits of the Final Fantasy VII story. I've, I've never watched a full playthrough. I will eventually get around to a playthrough, uh, watching a playthrough of the, uh, the remake. I don't think I could sit through the original.
I know about Barrett and his group of guys. I know Cloud gets the Buster Sword as a gift from someone. And I know Cloud looks great in lipstick. Breloom, because I've been doing a lot of catching, he's one of my more leveled Pokemon. My second high is behind Tyranitar, who I spent a bunch of rare candies on. Scoville and Fire Grass. What can I do against Fire Grass? Flying? I don't have flying. Well, I have Aerial Ace, technically. Sto uh, rock, but Grass would be super effective. Uh, fire grass, fire grass. What a weird typing. I gotta think about that. I could also just power through with Mousehold and his, his stupid shit. I'll try Junior first. Hoping I get the the one hundred seven 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 drop for Gimme Glue because I would like to I would like to get the evolution that'd be neat. It takes a long time to get there. Garganackle. Okay, G given the presence of Knackle, I have to assume that's the uh, the rock, the salt rock. Now, is it pure rock or is it something else as well? Just stick to Junior, I guess. Could stare at uh, Terrestalize for staff. It looks kind of like the Wind Waker Island. It looks like the Minecraft Island. Able to adjust the audio. The game sounds slightly louder than you. It's uh, it's the same levels that it has been for the past several streams. Let me take a listen real quick. Real quick. Uh, I don't think it sounds too loud. It sounds well balanced with me. I get worried that I sound too loud. Yeah, that sounds fine. Uh, my, my microphone is, uh, is pretty loud. the evolution of the... So it's not... Why are... Why are they doing this where they have what are obviously regional forms, but they're not going to acknowledge that they're regional forms? Are they trying to retire that idea? Well, no, because there are regional forms. There's a regional form Tauros. Why is this not a regional form Tentacruel? What is Toad Scroll? I think it's Grass Ground. I think that's what Toad Scroll is. It might have been pure grass, because it's supposed to be a mushroom. It's supposed to be a woodier mushroom.
weird looking thing. Oh, that's an oh. Okay, because it's a mushroom, it's another Pokemon that can learn Spore. I don't know if it's any good otherwise. Wake up. This is actually the first uh, Toad School. Toad's Cruel, whatever it's called, that I've seen. Oh, it's faster than me. Man. Maybe Samus is fast enough. Maybe she can get a quick shot off. Flamethrower, yeah, because it's grass type. No, it's faster. I probably... Okay, she survived. She's good. Burn it. Burn the mushroom. Cloister. Little risky. Ice would be super effective on me, but uh, I got Spore. I'll be fine. Hello, Elf King. They kind of just gave up on the idea of it be of a lot of Gen 1 Pokemon being mysterious black shadow creatures. Like, that was a thing in a lot of these early Pokedex entries, is that no one has ever seen its true form on the inside of the shell. But now it's just, like, a black sphere. Ghastly is just a black sphere. Shelter, black sphere. I'm glad Pokemon isn't like Final Fantasy where the enemy can just wail on you while you're trying to select a move. ATBs! Can't stand them! I, I could never play uh, Chrono Trigger, could not play Final Fantasy. I need time to think when I'm in menus. I can't be getting attacked while I'm doing this. Oh, that wasn't... Okay, because it's Cloyster. Cloyster got defense. Got a lot of people today. Hello, everyone. I'm a boss stiff. I'm a, I'm going to. Uh, what should I try with Amy Rose, or should I hold out for Mousehold? I haven't terrestrialized yet. I've saved it for Mousehold. I, I'm glad I did that because I, I saved uh, Intimidate. Oh, that's right, it's uh, it's dark type. So, play rough. 90, 135, that would be 270 power. Yeah, that's better. It's even super effective, it's only slightly better than Gigaton Hammer. I feel bad. I don't want to put this dog back in the hospital. Was uh, Final Fantasy IV the first one to induce, introduce the uh, ATB? Alright. Now can I just, can I get my shit off? I, d I gotta terrestrialize, I got to, I, c I could tidy up, I guess. I could boost myself first. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna... 
get one of those in first. I'm already faster, so those will just boost my attack a little bit. I'm gonna buff myself up as much as I can before I go on the finisher. And that's as much as I can. I can only get one in. All right, here we go. How appropriate is it that a family of mice are the masters of cheese? Yeah, he's done. Unless I get the 1% mischance. Rest in pieces. I don't think I, I needed to boost attack even. We were so close! So close! Yeah. Stop calling me little buddy. We're in the same class somehow. This is the strength of someone who could take down those Titan Pokemon. Much as I hate to admit it, I do think we're gonna need some more support. Pokemon in Area Zero are super strong. Oh, because that's right, he was he was like trying to see if he was ready for Area Zero. This wasn't about how strong I was. We need at least two more people, someone with some champion rank level skills, and someone who can deal with crazy tech. Okay. So you can't just do one of the three routes. You do have to do all three of them. Nimone! Eh, she'd be perfect for the job. I doubt she'd give us the time of day, unless one of us was on her level. But no, we're, like, we're already friends. Surely Nimona would agree to help me even if I did not become champion myself. Arvin doesn't have a lot of faith in people, does he? They just announced console ports of the recent remasters that were exclusive to mobile and Steam. I guess they just took a little bit longer to... How, how long was the uh, the time gap? I guess they just took a little bit longer to, uh, finish the mobile, the console versions? Because it's not like they intentionally make things a timed exclusive on Steam. What was time? I Sony does that, and I guess on occasion Nintendo does that, the timed exclusive thing. It's not too common. Crash 4 ended up being a uh, timed exclusive. Well, I get... Without us being aware of it, because it was like a two-year gap before it finally came to PC. It was a long time before uh, Crash 4 on Steam was announced. Graceful run. Just kind of glides up the steps. Alright. The other final boss. Clive. Who does Cl I don't remember who Clive opened with. My, uh... Ice Dragon's a bit stronger now. The others... And pretty much everyone is at the same level as the last time I fought this guy. At the end of the previous stream. I don't remember who his first party member was. K 
came out sometime half a year ago. Okay, yeah. Clive! Maybe Penny is just not a battler. Maybe she's good with tech and that's it. Maybe that that's why Clive has to be the final boss of this route. I, I know that he's Clavel, I don't care. He's always Clive to me. Did neglect to keep up my youthful act on a few occasions. Like when he found out that Harry put his name into the Goblet of Fire. That wasn't very youthful, that acting. No, it wasn't. So he and Penny were in cahoots. That has to be what's going on here. Orangaroo. Uh. I remember, because he opened with Reflect. Well, I, can cr I can crunch, but that's not going to KO a uh, level 60 Orangaroo. I have to, uh... If I want to keep the Reflect from going up, I would have to open with the uh, Spore, I think. Let me see how much Crunch does. Not much! Maybe I can still avoid the Reflect, maybe he still won't use it. No, oh, he's gonna use Yawn. Alright. Well, shoot. I think I'll fall asleep at the end of this turn. Yeah. This is very low-key battle music. For a Clavel. I wonder if this track is used for any other battles, or if it's just his. Oh, come on! Well, it didn't put the Reflect up. I still gotta swap out Tyranitar, and my uh, my Mushroom is now asleep. Obama Snow. It's gonna summon Hail. Or, Snow, rather. I got a Fire Pokemon. What can it, what can it use that will... Uh, that will wipe out Samus. I don't think it has anything. It has Wood Hammer, probably has an Ice Move. Might have a Fighting type. None of those should be a huge threat. Hopefully it won't matter. This will be four times. Yeah, I'm good. What does Snow do now? It raises the defense of Ice types? Because Sandstorm raises a special defense. Ice type has kind of become a uh, special defense equivalent of uh, Rock type's physical defense. Oh, don't burn me! No, not Tyranitar! That would have KO'd if he wasn't burned, I'd wager. Am I fat? No, it's faster than me. I was gonna heal the burn, but it would, uh, it would just burn me again anyway. That's alright. Tyranitar can take a hit. 
What a great ability Sandstream is for Tyranitar. That's like his one weakness is a uh, special defense. And that, that kind of, it doesn't completely solve it, but it helps a lot. Uh, poison and grass. Would kind of like to get Yuki some more experience. Can she take it? Probably gonna open with a status move. Hopefully, doesn't. Uh... Hopefully, doesn't spore. It's a mushroom. It's not gonna be faster than me. It is pretty meaty, though. Okay, I will take it. I'll take being poisoned. Because now I can't be put to sleep. Ugh. Well, never mind. There I go. Effect Spore and Hex. An interesting combination. Samus, you're up. I looked up the shiny for this, and it's, uh... I think the new most disappointing shiny I've ever seen. Mousehold was really bad. But, uh, what is this Pokemon called? It's not Serilege, that's the ghost one, right? Anyway, Samus is shiny is just the eye color. Nothing else changes. Not the armor, not the body, just the eyes. Uh, Dark Fire. I wish my Tyranitar wasn't burned, but, uh, you can take him. This will be fine. Oh, I still have the, I still have the, the duck to worry about. I gotta, uh, I gotta awaken. I gotta awaken Brello in preparation for the duck. Girl, this we're in the middle of a battle. You don't just walk between a Tyranitar and a Houndoom. Revive Yuki, because I would like to get her get her some experience. Get him strut. Could they really not disable the students? Like, on this central path during this fight? Did they just forget? Now watch him burn me again. He's gonna use Fire Blast and the burn is gonna proc. Okay, the burn did not proc. Well, since this this Houndoom cannot do anything to me, I might as well, uh... Might as well heal up. Fire Blast is really its best move in this situation, and it only has, what, 5 PP? Oh, it's got to have more than five. It's using it, using it this many times. Here we go. So it's water fighting. What do I have for that? I do have Breloom. Breloom's uh, Seed Bomb will work. I 
I have Aerial Ace, but I definitely don't want to send out Tyranitar against this thing, except for Sandstorm. If I have to fall back on the Sandstorm strategy. My man's even got, like, the Harry Potter glasses on. Did Dumbledore have round glasses? He wore glasses. Oh no! Why has it gotta be faster than my mushroom? I don't know why I'm surprised by that. Uh, hmm. Well. It's probably. What is my fastest Pokemon? Do I have anything that could conceivably outspeed the duck? 93, 125. Once it, mouse hold is pretty fast. I'm, I'm gonna have to just. I'm gonna have to go for mouse hold cheese. It's still, like, several levels above me, though. Even this might not work. I can't risk a tidy up, I just gotta go for it. If this doesn't work, or if this doesn't finish it, then uh, I, I might have to resort to Sandstorm. There we go. Ten hits. I can't believe I missed the very first hit. The last time I fought this thing. Cheese it. It's my ace. If ev if ever, ever anything looks bad, I just gotta pull out mouse hold. <laughs> that it's such a crazy attack power and a crazy speed stat. Elf, do you know if mouse hold can breed with other mouse hold? Because I realized today it's technically genderless. Here, I must apologize. I'm not actually Cassiopeia. Though Clive and myself being the same person was no lie, Cassiopeia's true identity remains hidden. Okay, but you know, right? Look at those look at those students in the background, like nothing weird is happening. Does Director Clavel just, like, fight students in the courtyard daily? Is this a completely unimpressive occurrence? Okay, so Clavel doesn't know for sure who Cassiopeia is, but he has a- he has a guess. I didn't want you to have to fight them. Their sorrow should not be yours to bear. Oh, well, of course I'm going to fight Penny, because she's the boss of, of Team Star. Cassiopeia has settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. Solely because that's like the code of Team Star, or whatever's going on here. I do not imagine any ordinary student could hope to stand against them and win. If you had lost, it would have fallen me, fallen to me to bring down Cassiopeia. Such was my resolve. You mean Clive, right? Turns out you are as strong as you are kind. Yep, I'm, I'm perfect. I am the perfect baby. Yeah, that's, that's what my character in Pokemon games. If anyone has a chance of saving that poor child... Y'all think maybe you're taking this a little too seriously? Alright. Also, time is here. Wait, is that the rapper gym leader? I've come here to investigate reports of an illicit battle on school grounds, and what do I find? Yeah. 
Hey, I don't mind. What were you thinking? I, I can explain. Wow. She's tearing into him. Remember, the big boss asked us to meet them in the schoolyard after dark. Don't say that out loud while she's here. She's here. This, this lady's gonna come break it up. You'll write a letter of apology to the students and faculty at once. Is, is it really that scandalous to have a Pokemon battle with a student? Alright, well, uh... I guess I'll go heal up, and then we'll go fight Penny. I don't know how to get to the Pokemon League. If it's, like, through the school, or, uh... I have, like, Ultra Coridon. Maybe I should just go climb the wall there. Maybe I should go from the back. Weather wars right outside the school might have been a bit much. Yeah, maybe. But if it was two students, it would have been fine. There's a little path to the left of the giant staircase. Nah, screw, screw that. I'm climbing the wall. But first, we have to uh, first we have to fight Otacon. Is that her? Is that Miss Time? Is she like uh, the, the sister of, of the battle rap gym leader? I, I, do, I haven't done any of the school stuff in my entire playthrough of this game, so I have no idea who that teacher was. All right, well, away we go. Entrance hall. I guess I could like visit the people. What, what what's what's he got to say now? Let, let's go to the director's office. I haven't been here in so long. How kind of you to stop by. I am pleased to see you on school grounds again. You haven't been here for weeks. You haven't taken any classes. Travel and, advent travel and adventure certainly have their place, but it does one good to attend class as well. I'd, not like I'd know. I understand you've joined a variety of classes. J I have? Which of our faculty members has made the most favorable impression on you? I don't know any of these people! You, Clive. I like Clive. Are you quite sure? I expect some element of diplomacy may be at work here, but if that is indeed how you feel... Something, something, something. Harry is gay for Dumbledore. Did that do anything? Could I have picked a different name? That felt like I should have waited to do that, maybe, until I actually knew someone else in this school. Uh, uh, can I, like, save first? No? Alright. Here we go. Gee, who could it be? Is she still doing the voice filter? That smirk. Don't look too surprised, Liz. This mice this must be quite a shock for you, Snake. Yeah, they, they were both penny. Well, I saw you make quick work of those Team Star lackeys outside school that time. The idea for Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get a hold of as much LP as I want. 
Is this cryptocurrency? Is that what LP is? I, that just occurred to me. Also, I've noticed, like, every single office worker in this game is talking about, like, being unsatisfied with their job and, and thinking about working at McDonald's or some shit. Like, there's a lot of, uh... There's a lot of great resignation-type dialogue among the office workers. Th this Pokemon game is, like, again, surprisingly up-to-date. Pokemon games are never this, like, topical. Yep. Otacon, with her Harry Potter glasses, had us fight all the Team Star bosses. But there's still a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight! Yeah, you can. You could definitely do that. You could end this now. There's no reason for us to have this fight. But, uh, I, you know, if you insist... Let me just, uh, let me just save first. That's not gonna take me back to the lo- it t took me back to the lobby. I just wanted to, like, save in front of her. Is she gonna give the whole speech again? She's gonna do the whole reveal- okay, no. <laughs> that would have been weird. Hello, Clive. The letter of apology, Miss Time had me, uh, d d d preparations took longer than expected. Wait, she doesn't, she didn't know. So it was you after, is that you, Cassiopeia? Okay, is Clive gonna be the referee? He's gonna be the, the, the squire, the scribe. He's going to record what happens next. So I can send the video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle themselves. But they don't know who you are either. Huh? There's so many flaws with this plan. They, they stated outright they don't know who the boss of Team Star is. Which raises several questions about how the team was formed. Bow down before the overwhelming... <laughs> We've gone from Giovanni, a criminal mob boss leader, to this. This this is our, bi our big team boss now. It's like one of those, one of those meme images of like uh, 1940 to 2022. What changed? What happened? What if she just got a full team of Eevees? She does, doesn't she? She just got six Eeveelutions. Alright, Dark type. Uh, what do I... I did Fairy. I could Fairy or I could Mushroom. needed that. I wonder how late in development it was decided that Umbreon was going to be a, uh, a dark type. Because it was originally planned to be a poison type. It had the same design, basically, but, uh, you, it's still present. I think it was poison type in the in the gold silver beta, and it still has the uh, the little like factoid in its Pokedex entries and lore that it it sweats poison. It also has the the like stats of a poison type because poison type is is the ones that have uh, in the early gens had, like, really high defenses. 
in Gen 1, the poison type game plan was to, uh, to poison you and then just wall. That was the that was the intended design the time behind like uh, wheezing and muck. Wasn't very good. Didn't work well, but that was the plan. I wonder how much better it w it might have been if psychic type didn't exist. Between the two realities, I'm kind of happier with ours. I I don't really want a reality where uh. Poison types actually got to do their thing, and there was just like a wall meta in Gen 1. I, I don't think we needed that. Not a single trainer in this game has used healing items yet. Is that just not a thing anymore? What was the idea behind giving everything toxic past a certain point? I think everyone had toxic pretty much immediately. It was a TM, and it was the TM you got from Koga in uh, Gen 1. And it was, his, his, his gimmick was being like a ninja, so I, I guess the idea was like, uh, I don't know, anyone could poison coat their attacks or something. Toxic has always been kind of a weird move. But you're right, it does, like, invalidate the Poison Archetype just by existing. Just hanging out Flareon, what do I want? I could Tyranitar, do I want to have a Sandstorm up for the rest of the, ba of the battle? Yeah, that's fine. Sand it up. <laughs> Miss Time's gonna look up and see more weather shenanigans on the roof of the school and be like, Oh, hell no! Is this, is this all of their game plan? She's just gonna send out six evolutions and, and look at me endearingly. And hope that I lose my will to fight. She's just, she's just baby doll eyes forever. I guess the balancing factor, the balancing idea behind Toxic was that it was a TM and you only got one of the move. Also, I don't remember. There was a. Uh, there, there. At some point, Toxic became such that it had a 100% accuracy if used by a Poison Pokemon. I don't know if that was the case in Gen One or if that came later. But there is at least some some synergy to uh, actually being a Poison type and using the move Toxic. Vaporeon also has really high defense, which is weird, because that's not usually a trait of water types. I remember always, like... In the early gens, I would have more trouble taking down evolutions than I would most Pokemon. I don't know why I just never expected them to have that good stats. Gen 6 onwards had, uh, had toxic accuracy. Okay. Uh, Leafeon. They really put the Eevee-only boss trainer in the game that just doesn't let you disable switch mode? It, can you not turn off... Well, I'm sorry, you can't turn this off in this game? There's not a set mode in the options. They have so many random options for this game. Why would they get rid of that one? They got, they got rid of set mode and they got rid of being able to turn off the EXP share. Those seem like options that, like, a lot of players would want. 
but no, instead we get to we get to disable cutscenes. We get to disable learning moves for some reason. It's so arbitrary. Boy, I'd be happy if I could freeze this thing. I've gotten lucky with freezing in, the, in this playthrough. Not on stream, but uh, I've gotten a couple freezes off stream while, chain, while uh, training Yuki. Fortunately, it's not like super dangerous to me either, so I can just I can heal up and I'll be fine. Yuki is finally able to hold her own. I can't wait for the final evolution to just be crap. Just like something I don't want on my team at all. And I will at the last minute have to once again change out my team my final team member. I don't know what else I would use, to be honest. I thought about, uh... I thought about, like, Dragonite. I don't have a flying type. Dragon flying could be nice. Did you know that, uh, that, 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 that Dragonite and the Gyarados were actually switched evolutions? That is not proven. That, that's a fan theory. Just FYI. Jolteon. Uh, I have... Yeah. I had Earthquake. Start up the Sandstorm again. The first form is the only ugly one IMO. That's good. It was pretty ugly. It really didn't look anything like the second form. What's this? I'm guessing the sixth one is probably... What did she, what did she have? She's had Flareon, Jolteon, uh, Vaporeon, Umbreon... I'm guessing Espeon. Okay, and Sylveon. Wait, no, she had a Leafeon. So she's missing Espeon and uh, Glaceon are the two. Eevee Light, Eevee Ace. She could have done that. She could have had an Eevee. Sylveon. Uh. All right. Time to bring out the hammer. I think Clive was tougher. I'm gonna be real. I think Clive could have taken her. Oh, wait. Oh, what's. Is, it, is she gonna be normal type? Is she gonna terrestrialize her fairy Sylveon into a normal Eevee again? No, it's fairy type. Okay. Nothing, nothing has effectively changed then. She would have saved herself doing that. Also weird... Somehow, this thing, the giant hammer-wielding monstrosity, is the second fastest member of my team. I talked about that on a previous stream. Oh, that's right, I can't. Oops. It doesn't look like a thing that would be fast. Man, it's a good thing that uh, I have a metal hammer, which uh, makes me immune to these sand particles, because it, my body is now metal, it being holding a metal hammer. What was the... 
There was the Anchor Pokemon. The Algae Pokemon in Gen 7. It was like a grass ghost. But it was also kind of like an honorary steel type because it, it was around an anchor. And its signature move was steel type. It was a weird Pokemon. It's finally over, guys. It's done. She she really was just like she was just a voice on a screen the entire time to them. How did she do this successfully? Okay, she did try to break up the team after the after the incident. We got carried away with Operation Star. Now everything's gotten out of hand. Yeah. We didn't even fight them in the end. was a bloodless victory. And and this is why they didn't break up. The bullies made a huge stink about what went down and they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired epically. Epically. There's no way we're getting off scot free. I mean it, yeah. So what, you're like, you're, you're afraid of, of getting yelled at by teachers? That's why this has gone on this long? I'll fix this mess. Just leave it to me. Is this an attempt to, to do the breakup? You guys should start going- stay in school! I can't go back. Lead by example, everyone. They, they really never met in person. Not one single time. BB. She just called her BB. What does that mean? Big, okay, big boss. Uh, Metal Gear. You can't just call a character Big Boss in a post-Metal Gear world. Yep, yeah, anytime. I'm happy to kick your ass any day, I guess. Still feel like this could have all been avoided. I'd like to check something with you. Why resort to something like Operation Starfall? Was there really no other way? Really? Tried telling the bosses that we were done before, but they still didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? Our code states that no one in the team has the right to order people around. What, what's, what's the point of a hierarchy then? They, they took the code very seriously. That's why I knew I could use it to, to force Team Star to disband. So they're, 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 not, they're not subject to, like, the orders of a superior, but they're subject to the orders of, of the code that the superior put into effect. This is very convoluted, this, uh, this team you worked up. What do your friends in the team mean to you? They're my greatest treasure. You gonna like, uh... You gonna like go meet them now? Quit it with the old geezer act, Clive. You're creeping me out. She really doesn't know.
She's shocked. But, but why? I needed a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students do tend to shy from speaking their mind to their teachers, after all. Much, fo much more so when faced with the director of the academy. Is this his theme music? I haven't even noticed. Where do I start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Was there not a simpler way to handle this? My character is just looking at both of these idiots and just face palming. And here's the here's the team star members, right? The big reunion. I don't have voices for most of these characters. I, I guess we're probably reading more of their dialogue if I did. Yep, they finally found out her real name. Splatoon man. It's it, this weird thing Pokemon games do, where they have these uh, real-time cutscenes. I'm not pressing A to advance this, but they still don't have voice acting. I guess it's just for consistency. It'd be weird to voice, like, some dialogue and not the rest of it. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. My handling of this situation was an abysmal failure. You all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star and about your subsequent actions. Ever since my first days as director, all I've ever experienced of the Academy is an environment blessedly free from bullying. Now I know this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger. And somehow a completely like, non-violent confrontation. The Academy's order for Team Star to disband and my threat to expel those who did not obey are hereby revoked. You can be in a gang at this school. That's totally okay. That's what this is. I mean, they're friends. They're on friendly terms now, but they're still, like, a gang. Boy, here's hoping things don't get out of hand again. I prefer this over Breath of the Wild's voice acting. I, th I have heard that that is one of those games that has voice acting at some moments and just text at others. It sounds weird. I'll have to experience it. It's fine. It's a fine story for a Pokemon game. Having a good story for a Pokemon game is, is that bar is on the floor. Sorry if you like the stories in Pokemon games. They're usually not the deepest shit. Alright. Your protracted truancy, your brazen customization of school uniforms. Are those customized school uniforms? Because they look to me like completely different outfits. Your reckless modification and je jeopardous driving of Pokemon-powered vehicles. That sounds like a- yeah, that sounds like a valid offense.
modified school uniforms. There, there's no school uniform there left. They're completely just... They're, no, they're not. I will be asking you to manage the STCs. The, the Star Training Centers. Okay, they're, they're being given, like, special titles and, and stuff at the school. And you're just gonna, like, arrange with the Pokemon League. Okay. Let's just keep it going forever. Nothing ever really changes. Team Star forever. You were going to keep using the former bases as training facilities. Do they own that land? I thought they just like they, they just like took over some random wild area. Like I'll I'll bet that people would like to visit the ta the tag tree thicket without a base being there. No, just going to say it's mine now. What is she, is she going to get her own base? Oh, I, I want to see the Penny base. It's the Eevee base. It's covered in nothing but Eevees. And the only things there are Eeveelutions. Uh, I think this sounds like a very not thought through system. But, uh, do your best. You want me by the office again? Okay. You are my favorite, uh, my favorite staff member. Is this where I get the Master Ball? It's very unceremonious in Gen 2, the way you get the Master Ball. I think after you beat Team Rocket, you just get a phone call from the professor and he's like, Here, have this! Thank you for all your hard work. If not for you, I suspect I would have done the team a grievous injustice in my choice of punishment. I don't know, I, I'm sure Clive could have handled things. Alright, hello Penny. Still rocking the Eevee backpack. Well, she decided quickly. I should be punished more heavily than the others, I think. The Master Ball is literally just lying around in the enemy's base in RSE. Was it? I don't remember that. What was the really bad thing that you did? I hacked cryptocurrency. Wait, did she actually? I sort of got hold of that LP illegally by uh, hacking the Pokemon League. I see. So she is a mastermind criminal. That is quite the revelation. I did not think such a thing was even possible. It wasn't it wasn't that hard. Uh, I mean, sorry. I will have to consult Miss Jita. Jita the Pokemon League chairwoman on how best to proceed. This is the world of Pokemon, so I'm sure she'll be like, Yeah, it's fine. Everything's fine. There's no problems in this world. Slap on the wrist. You hacked the Pokemon League and stole, like, thousands in funds. Well, technically, I have them now. I could just, like, pay them back. I don't particularly want to, but... I'm not spending it. 
I've had so much cash this playthrough. We really, we've, okay, so this is the first game where we've been embezzling the gov government throughout. This is the closest in a Pokemon game that we're going to get to tax fraud. Okay. In front of the schools. And now... I just want to, I just want to climb up to put the back of the Pokemon League. about an hour in. We've beaten two of the bosses. That's not bad. They had a total of one contingency plan for Groudon Kyogre, and they just left it just sitting on the floor. said the thing. The six of us thought up that catchphrase back when we created the team. It's so cringy, it's perfect, you know? They cringy, she says. About the LP thing, I thought I was going down big time for hacking the league point system, but they're letting me off easy. Oh yeah? They said they'll waive my debt if I do some volunteer engineering for them. Even asked me to come work for them after I graduate. This is one of those cases where they're like, You hacked the government? Impressive! Director Clavel and that Jita lady kept complimenting me, like, a weird amount. Apparently I have outstanding talent or something. Sorry for calling you out to meet like this. I'm still not so great with people face to face. Never seem to find the right words, but, uh... Thanks! You saved Team Star and my friends along with it. Master Ball. Draco Meteor. I got a dragon move. That, I, that's special, isn't it? It's like a, a ultimate special attack dragon move or something. I want to repay the debt I owe you. If you ever think of a way I can do that, just let me know. I'm great with machines and hacking and stuff. Hey, uh, could you hack, uh, other governments, in theory? You think we could embezzle from Sinnoh next? It does not seem like a TM that, uh, an EV trainer would have, no. Maybe that's why she gave it to me. She doesn't have any use for it. We're, we're, we're never going to get a Dragon-type evolution. Well, Yuki is, I believe, a physical attacker, so that's probably not useful. That's <laughs> yeah, a 130 power uh, Dragon move. Oh yeah, definitely physical. I also completely forgot that she had, uh, she had uh, an ability that benefits from getting hit by fire moves. Alright. So there's the League. I want to be cheesy. I could go the normal way. Or... Also, again, begs the question of... Clearly, everyone knows where the Pokemon League is. Why, why can't I just, like, ask a taxi... ...to fly me there? This weird, like, honor system with the taxi systems... ...that you need to have been to a place before you can taxi there. Let's do this. Oh, what's this? Eerie Impulse. I 
I guess in theory... Do we need any of the Coridon abilities to get to gyms? Is it possible to do all eight gyms and the Pokemon League without doing any of the Titans? There it is. I see it. I think I see it. What are you? It's a Tinkatuff, or a Tinkaton, one of the two. Get up. Watch this be like the, the border of Paldia. Like, this is one of the walls that I'm inexplicably not allowed to climb. Nope, I'm good. Oh, this is the Great Crater. Well, I'm not supposed to go here, so, uh... I guess I probably shouldn't... Yeah, I'll just... I'll, like, die if I jump in that, won't I? Only one way to find out. Yeah! Wow, this is deep. Darn. No explanation given. Nope, you just uh, you just can't go there. It's spooky and mysterious, and uh, you're not allowed to go there yet. There's one location around the crater you can go to before you're meant to be there through climbing. I'm king of the league now. If you get close to it, you just get a dialogue box saying you can come here later. Weird. So yeah, there's a, one, if you have the Coridon power, there's nothing preventing me from just, like, climbing up here. Is it this? This little, like, water area? Is that the one you're talking about? Hello. There's wild Garchomp and Magnezone around the edge, too. How does Magnezone evolve in this game? Do you need to level up Magneton in, like, Area Zero? It's always something to do with, like, uh, magnetic fields. Leveling up in a certain area. What's around here? Just, like, little baby Pokemon. Now that I cheesed my way up to the League, let me see what path I could have taken to get here. I never evolved Fido. You just use a Thunderstone in this game. Okay. That's convenient. Was there a victory road that I skipped? No, there wasn't. Okay. Imagine. Imagine this game having content. I kid. I am totally fine with there not being a, vis a victory road. We don't need one. Get rid of it. League is just a place of business. So how early could I have come here? Could I was that path like open from the start of the game? 
I guess I'll find out by seeing how, uh, what level this guy's party members are at. Yes, I could have. Like, it's obvious that there is a path leading from Mesa Goza. It's just not obvious where in Mesa Goza the path is. Yeah, I don't know if I can take this guy. Level 14 Meowth seems pretty tough. Fight the guy after this guy. Is it just gonna jump, like, 40 levels? This kid's just visiting. He's checking this place out early game. The, the other guy's ready to be here. Never saw Tandem House until I came here for the Elite Four. They are very common here. They seem to just kind of uh, pop up randomly elsewhere in the world. Cabby Paco. Alright, here we go. This is the guy who killed my level 20s? Well, you shouldn't have come here with level 20s. Get good. He, Paco is the unofficial gatekeeper. He just hangs out here beating up students all day. Dreaming of the Pokemon League. The foul play doesn't get stabbed, does it? Because it uses the opponent's attack stat, or does it? Uh-oh, earthquake. I don't like that. Ah, oh, It does get stabbed. It looks so sad when it goes down. Wild Moxie spotted. I like the idea behind Crocodile. I like the, the like, uh, dark, round crocodile line. I don't like his design. He's a little too cartoony. I want, I want my final evolutions to be, like, scary and monstrous. I want them to all look like Agron and Tyranitar. Remember the, uh, the Pupitar is never going to evolve meme? My Ice Dragon is never going to evolve. Oh, it has more. A key has more. Could use some more ex uh, experience candies. Sarah Ledge do look pretty cool. I think it's uh, it's fire ghost type, right? Which, fortunately, no longer resists Dark type. Are you done? Yeah, he's done. The Iggly buff is just watching and, and freaking out. It's having a moment. That Iggly buff was scared shitless, watching the two Pokémon in front of it fighting. I 
guess I can check the TM machine one last time to see if there's anything, uh, anything that strikes me. Again, would be tremendous if I could just see the new ones. Unfortunately, I cannot. Ice Fang, I already have that. Tyranitar can learn all the fangs. Low kick, acid spray. What was I considering having instead? Uh, odd confuse ray instead of I don't remember. Uh, Psy shock. Facade is one of those moves that anyone can learn. Could put aerial ace on my uh, on my dragon. I'll do that. Wouldn't hurt to have another aerial ace user. Avalanche? Oh, that's 60 power. I don't think I need Avalanche. I also don't remember how fast Ice Dragon is. It's probably reasonably fast. Uh, Snowscape? Boost defense stat. That could be useful for, uh, Sandstream is nice because it doesn't take up a move slot, though. Oh, Avalanche has negative priority. Do you think it's better than Ice Fang? Probably, it'll probably be 120 power in most cases. It's just uh, the negative priority also is kind of a hindrance. Ice Fang sucks. Darn. Shadow Claw, you turn. Well, Tyranitar, Tyranitar could learn foul, uh, foul, foul play, but how many Pokemon are going to have uh, are going to have a higher attack stat than Tyranitar? Might be worth putting on the uh, on the fairy. Dragon Dance would be nice. On uh, on who? Tyranitar? I guess on either the either of my pseudos. Dragon Claw already learned. Body press. Leech Life, actually good now. I don't have anything that can learn it, though. Uh, Dragon Dance. I am missing some Gibble Scales and some Noibat fur. Oh, the, the Dragon can't learn it. Iron Head. It's 80 power steel. Well, I, I, have, I have my hammer for steel move. Teach Samus Aura Sphere. Do I have a fight? I have a, I have Breloom for fighting. I don't need Aura Sphere. Uh, that's right. Tyranitar can surf for some reason. It can't learn Ice Spinner. Well, Ice Dragon doesn't learn a lot of Ice moves, does it? It might change when it evolves, but... Uh, kind of sucks right now. Terrains. Pledges. Giga Impact. Close combat. That but that would probably be worth teaching to my mushroom, actually. Do I have a close combat TM? Oh no, it's, I, it says I already have one in the bag. Yeah, I should teach by. Uh, yeah, that's better than drain punch. 
The only other question is, do I want a uh, Dragon Dance for Tyranitar? Replace Aerial Ace. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay, so I got a few things that I can do. I will add another Aerial... I'll ch change Aerial Ace users. Do I have another Aerial Ace? Or I might have to make one. I don't have another Aerial Ace on hand. That's alright. Uh, close combat for the Mushroom. Brain Punch is nice, but it's not that nice. I don't have... I, I could get... I could get some Dragon Dance materials pretty quickly. Uh, what else? I wanted, uh... I want to make an Aerial Ace. And, uh, Avalanche. That's what I was gonna do. Uh, as dragon moves, as ice moves, as crunch. I guess I guess I'll have to get rid of. I don't need dra I don't need two dragon moves. Dragon tail's a gimmick. Is anyone but me old enough to remember Dragon Tales? That was a show. That was a show that aired a lot. All right, what else was there? There was dragon. Uh, avalanche. I was considering the snow TM, but, uh, I don't know, it doesn't, is it worth spending a move on? Is it worth spending a turn on to raise defense like that? Spore, Sword Stance, Drain Punch. Yeah. I don't feel the need to strategize too hard for a Pokemon single-player campaign. I'm just happy having two hard-hitting moves on Breloom. It's, it's really just here for catching and coverage. Uh, what did I need for, uh, for Dragon? I needed, uh, Gibble, and I needed Noibat. Where are Noibats? I've seen them. I think they're on the mountain. Check the old Pokedex. We haven't been there in... We haven't looked at it in a very long time. Also look up real quick. Cerebi Noibat. Check rewards. Rewards? Oh, there's a little trophy down there. I have never, like, seen that before. I never noticed that until you pointed it out just now. You know, I, I, should, I should search. There's a search, isn't there? again. Whatever, the Cerebi page loaded. Except it's in the Sword Shield decks. There we go. North Province, Area 1 and Area 2. Got some dust. Got some Great Balls that I'll never use. Got a Thunderstone. in the cave between Medali and Port Marinata. Be good if it was in a cave, because Gaybite is in caves, too. Although it doesn't list caves in the... on the Pokedex. 
on the on Cerebi. What am I at? I think I'm at like 220 or something. Thirty, two hundred forty. All right. Okay, between Medali and Port Marinata. This one, the passage. Where's Medali? Medali. Port Marinata. There's a cave between here? Oh, that, the car, the hollow. Well, I know Gibble's in here, so this this will be easy. I was gonna say, because I remember getting here pretty early and I don't think I saw Noibats in here. Meditite. Where are my gibbles at? Nope! Oh, I wanted to do the auto battle! That's fine. I got four times with ice. Unfortunately, I'm gonna take a hit for it, but. Nice polygons. Did I miss something? Did I miss some uh, landscape shenanigans? There's the gibble scales. Oh, there's one! Get it! Hey, auto battle, go! Get some Noibat fur. Alright, we good. That was easy. Where's the fire base? Fire base was right here, right? No, that was the east gate. Was this it? I think this was this was like the general vicinity, wasn't it? I wanted to go back there for a second because I remember some, uh, I remember some really wacky geometry there, but there doesn't seem to be an easy fly location to the to the fire base. Oh well. Watch me go through all this trouble and then just not use Dragon Dance at all. Do you think it's worth teaching uh, the Snowstorm to the Dragon? To the, the Ice Dragon? You know what? I can just evolve it now, that's what I can do. I can just feed it some XP candies. Hello, Gleam. Did, uh, did hail increase the defense stat of ice types before? Or is that just a new function of the snow?
Oh, that was more than I expected. All right, ice school crash. Uh, 85 power may flinch. Do I want that over Avalanche? I, I really don't like having to go second. I, ju I just added Avalanche. What do, you, what do you guys think? It's 90 accuracy. It's a little less accurate than Avalanche is. Crash is better. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Final form. What do you look like? Eh. It's fine, I guess. What? It, why does it have one wing? One wing and dinosaur. Bax Caliber. This Pokemon blasts cryogenic air out from its mouth. The air can instantly freeze even liquid hot lava. It's like a Stegosaurus, I guess, a little bit. Glaive Rush. A am I gonna immediately replace Icicle Clash? Crash? No, that's a dragon move. Attacks from opposing Pokemon during the next turn cannot miss and inflict double damage. Okay. So that's an all-or-nothing attack. It is pretty powerful. Dragon Claw is only 80 power and has no secondary effect. Signature move, stupid strong. It seems pretty strong. I just... I, yeah. For single player especially. Because I usually swap out Pokemon right after I use a move anyway. What else we got? Samus is a little bit underleveled. I got all these candies. I might as well use them. If I'm relatively sure this will be my final team. Let me just, uh, let me just, let me just pump them up. Let me juice them full of steroids here. There you go. All right. Onward. I wonder what I, I wonder if uh, if oil spill over there has a has a type. Probably not. Champions haven't had like types for a while. Cynthia didn't really have a type. I like that Steven had the steel type. I liked I like Steven. He's my favorite champion. Alder was arguably a bug type trainer. Alright, final task. Final test is here in this building. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Jita. Who was after that? Uh, I Iris. Well, well, she was in a sequel. But she was a dragon trainer. I liked Iris as a champion. Alder had, like, three of his six Pokemon were Bug-type or something like that. And then even less of them when he returned for the Black-White 2 tournament. Iris's dragon team champion team wasn't pure dragon. No. But she had dragons in the in the returning tournament, I think. Who else was there? There was the 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 the, the model lady. Was she like all fairy type or did she just have a, a mix of everything? Sure. I don't know what I'm getting into. 
We got an interview. What what the fuck is this? Am I applying for a job? Well, you know, they say that Pokemon games don't prepare pe don't prepare kids for the real world. We aim to fix that by letting my character electric slide in front of the chair, as happens in real job interviews. All right, we begin with the interview. Interview. Yes, you you are able to look at the number of badges. I do have all eight, just like the guy said at the door. I may automatically fail the interview depending on my answers. Is this about whether I like love Pokemon? If I'm like if I if I love my partners and everything, is that what this is gonna be? Well I, I wrote on my Pokemon the first time, then I left, and then I walked back, and then I left again, and then I flew in. I've done all three of these things today. That's a trick. That's the other one, isn't it? That's Uva. What brings me to the Pokemon League? Uh... I don't know. I'm playing this game for fun. What do you intend to do if and when you become a champion? Uh... Namona. Which of the eight gyms gave you the most difficulty? That's a good... Oh, I don't know. Give me, like, the types. I don't remember which is which. I is this the order that I fought them in? Uh, uh... Hmm. I don't rem I don't remember any of them particularly giving me trouble. Did any gym leaders give me trouble? What was Alfernada even? Uh the 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 the, the last one. Uh-oh. Oh, I should have said Medali. I remember Larry. Larry left an impression. Uh, uh, who, who, who the fuck were these characters? Tulip was the last one. What do you remember? Which type of Pokemon Tulip used? Yeah, she, she was the, she was the weird, psychic, body health fashionista lady. I remember because I disliked her. Was that really necessary, this memory game? What was the category of the Pokémon you chose to be your first par partner? I, I chose the Fire Croc. I chose Bubble Bobble. He, he is retired from my team. He's not coming back. What do you intend to do? Nimona! How dumb is this going to be? Do you like Pokemon? Oh, gee, that's a tough one. Is this an auto fail? What if what if I have problems with this game? What what if what if I'm a critical consumer? Am I going to be punished for that? I gotta be honest, this interview seemed, like, kind of pointless. That was it. That was part of the assessment. 
I don't think anyone's done it on the first try since Nimona. No one remembers our gym leaders. Time to switch gears and get ready for the next segment. Next is called the Elite Test. Yep, Elite Four. I like how uh, I like how your like your body glitches in and out of existence. It's just like in little pockets. We're the best the league has to offer. You'll be facing us four in a row. No turning back. This won't be a cakewalk. Okay. Well, I only have a billion healing items, so uh, I think I'll be all right. Can I electric slide into the chair again? I want to do that. Darn. Uh, is there a particular order that I have to face them in? There were some elite fours that I could shoot. I could fight in any order. I don't remember what Sword Shields was like. Sword Shields didn't have an elite four. It had the championship tournament. Uh, Gen 6 and Gen 7, I believe, I could fight in any order that I so chose. Okay, so types. I know about Snape. I know about Rika. I know about the, the, the doll. Poppy, is that her name? I don't know about the fourth one. I'm guessing maybe it's the gym teacher. All right, I gotta fight Sail Uranus. Let's get this started. Let good old Rika be the first member. All right, what what what's your type? I don't mean Pokemon. Is she a ground trainer? Well, this was a poor opening Pokemon. Waiting on the reaction for the last Elite Four member he doesn't know. Is it Nimona? Uh, am I going to eat shit by swapping into my mushroom? Is it going to use Ice Beam? I could use Spore, but I don't think it's necessary for an equal level to uh, dual weakness type. Junior wants to lose, use, learn Giga Impact. No, I think I'm good without. Yeah, I don't need Giga Impact. Is Explosion still, still popular? Is that still something that uh, people like to run as, as like a, a, a big fuck you and competitive? Camera up. Do I have any, I don't have any water on my team. Hmm. Well, what can I use on Camerupt? I can I can use ground. I could just I could just use population bomb. Uh Oh, here's a question. I can't I can't terra I can't terrestrialize in every battle. I do I only get one for the entirety of the elite four? I guess you could, like, enforce yourself to be in set mode. Like, you could just always say no when it asks if you want to switch Pokemon. It's going to use a ground attack and potentially take me, so I, I don't think I want to, uh... 
I don't want to spend a turn on a Dragon Dance. Dawn Fan. Okay, so the... Interesting. She doesn't strike me as, as like, a ground-type trainer. There's nothing, like, about the character design that screens ground-type, but, uh, you know, everyone's got a type. I can probably assume that everyone in the Elite Four will also probably terrestrialize once. I kind of liked being able to pick what order I fought them in, though. I'm, I'm a little sad that I can't do that. Uh-oh. Oh, good. That was a... That was an ability, wasn't it? Weren't there Pokemon who had an ability that raised their uh, special... their defense in a... In a Hailstorm or something. I remember there were a few abilities that involved hail. It wasn't just uh, wasn't just the veil. Dog trio. No, there wasn't an ability like that. Uh oh. Oh, that's earthquake. That should be all right. Only evasion and speed. Claude Sire. Okay, that's poison ground. Should I attempt to give some... No, Samus is going to eat shit because it's ground type. I'll give my I, I'll I'll try to give my ice dragon some uh, some love. Claude's I think Claude Sire has some defense, so it's probably going to survive one icicle track, one icicle trash though. All right, terrestrialize ground type. Is that what we're doing? Of all the Pokemon for an Elite Four member to use as its as its ace, as the final member of the team, fucking Claude Sire. Use, will it be able to finish off my dragon? Things are gonna get shaky, Earthquake. They, they they programmed puns into the dialogue. Okay, I'm alive. Thankfully, my my Wooper Claude Sire does not appear to be the only one in the game that sucked. It's, it seems like it's just not a great Pokemon. Use Blade Rush to avoid miss. I guess I could have. That's right, Junior does have a ground terra type. So I could get stabbed from Earthquake if I wanted to. Well don't don't get pouty now. Uh I am I'm trying very much to save my terrestrializing for a uh, mousehold though. Mousehold is my ace. No way was I ever gonna win that one. It's like you have psychic powers or something. This is an inex inexplicable ability that every Pokemon trainer, player character has. Just knowing what's about to come out. Alright, second Elite Four is stronger. It's Poppy. Man, they don't, uh... They don't even let you save between them in this one.
She seems like someone who would use fairy type, but, uh... Oh, I do get to save, okay. Maybe that's me making an assumption that I shouldn't make. Can I just... Let me use, like, ten potions. Why you gotta do this every time? I don't want to waste, like, my 30 hyper potions, though. I only have 30 of them. Just auto-heal? Oh, that is a thing, isn't it? Where's auto-heal? Uh, oh, I have to- I have to be hovering over the Pokémon. Okay. We had a fairy- there was a fairy type, uh... There was a fairy type, uh, Oc Team Star person. What was that? Was there a fairy type, uh... Gym? I don't remember what they used the fairy type on, or was it a titan? I think ground was a titan, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the, 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 the big tusk was the ground type titan. Team Star was fairy, that's right. Uh, I'm trying to remember the titans. There was a ground one, there was a rock one. A flying one. Weird how Penny still had Fairy Terra when there was already the Fairy Star Leader. Yeah, but Penny wasn't... I, I guess. She wasn't part of the, like, set of 18 that they were doing with, uh... with bases, gyms, and titans. Steel-type. I was gonna say... The titans seem like the least... Like, they, 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 they covered all the 18 types with all of those. But, uh, the type was least meaningful with the Titans, least thematic. So it makes sense that they would have the, uh, the Elite Four share types with the Titans rather than anything else. That, that's, that's my leading theory. My game theory. So, ground type, steel type. And I'm going to guess that the other two are going to be Flying, Dragon, or, uh, or Rock. I'm going to guess Flying and Dragon. That's my guess for the remaining two Elite Four members. Now, does it have Heat Proof? I guess I have no way of knowing, because it doesn't tell you if heatproof procs. Oh, GG. Rest in peace. Nope, Samus is fine. Bronzong does not have high physical attack. Bronzong is a wall. Expanding force. Girl, let me show you my expanding force. User attacks the target with its psychic power. When the ground is psychic terrain, moves power is boosted and damages all opposing Pokemon. Well, it's boosted by how much? Is it, like, doubled? I don't know if I want that over psychic. Psychic just seems like a more general use move. It boosts it by a lot. Okay. Is it worth having psychic terrain and expanding force over psychic and Psyshock? I can relearn it after the battle if I so choose. You need to build an actual team for it to be good. Okay. And that, or I would have to, like, use Samus as a sweeper. I would have to be using multiple of the psychic moves in a row. If I'm just sending out... If I'm just sending her out for one Pokemon that I need to use psychic against, I don't want to have to use two moves to do that.
Well, finally, Samus gets to have a use. Magnezone. Uh, does Magne... I don't think Magnezone has Levitate. I think Magnezone has some kind of magnet-related power. I'm also trying to just... I'm, I'm avoiding terrestrializing unless I have to. Oh, that's sturdy. So I might end up treating it as if I only have one Terra for the entire Elite Four. I don't think I've used a single PP restoration item in this entire playthrough. A ton. Well, I definitely don't want my dark type out for that. I could fi I could challenge it with another Tinkaton. What is Fairy Seal weak to? Fire. Uh, fairy Steel. I don't want to send out Yuki. Yeah, Samus. She's gonna. Oh, she's gonna take some damage from the uh, the stones though. Maybe I should have just kept her out the entire fight. Also probably going to terrestrialize to a pure seal type. Yeah, pointed stones. Yeah. Let me heal up. The hammer is strong. But it has a type weakness, so it'll be 120 power on me. Well, no, she's going to terrestrialize, so it'll go from 160 to uh, 320, so it'll be back down to 160. Can Samus take a 160 hit from a Tinkaton? Oh no, it has Stone Edge! Oh, that's, but it also has no attack power. Boy, that, uh, the Sandstorm is not doing me any favors right now. I think Samus is going to go down. It's also really fast, is the problem. So it's going to hit me for, uh... It, de it dealt 80 damage with that move. It might just use Stone Edge again. I could get a hit in, but if it does Stone Edge first and hits me, it could do 80 damage. Because that's what it just did just now. Okay, no, it was it was weaker this time. There's some degree of RNG to uh to move power determining that I've never fully understood. Uh, I could use not Terra Tinkaton, or, uh, Mouse Hold. I'll see use Mud Slap, I guess. Now, I, if it's not Terra, I don't think it, it might, maybe it'll be strong enough. Let's find out. Yeah, it'll, it'll be fine. Yeah. Never underestimate the mouse. <laughs> Look at them in their battle cry. Oh, what, what's the matter? You gonna cry? I wanted to take revenge on you, Rika. Revenge for you? Yeah. So there's no explanation as to why this, like, this baby is on the Elite Four. 
We're not gonna get like, oh, oh, she's she's a child prodigy. She's actually a college graduate, or uh, this is actually a dwarf. Just she likes to role play as a child. No, just one of the elite four is a baby. That's it. That's all we get. Larry, Larry's back. Does he work two jobs? Is that what this is? That's the angle they're gonna go with, isn't it? Now, is he still a normal type? Or does, does he have a different team of Pokémon for the Elite Four? That's right, I have the Adventure Guide that I haven't read. Uh, well, assuming he's normal type, I guess I should open with the mushroom, even if he's not normal type. Breloom is a great opener just because it has spore. It can deal with anything but grass, really. And then swap into something else. Please tell me how you work two jobs. At my gym, I use normal type Pokemon since I feel they have a lot in common with me. Well, the boss told me to use a different type here, and, you know, I gotta do what my boss tells me to do. If you have any complaints, take them up with La Primera. Alright, what's your type? We st flying Rock or Dragon? Those are my guesses. Okay, gonna guess flying, which is very, very bad. Oh no, this is the worst possible thing for my mushroom. I cannot spore it, and it's a flying type. Uh-oh, abort, abort. It's obviously gonna use a flying move. That's right, he, he counterpicked. It's like I was the one fighting, fighting, fighting the Psychic Trainer. Well, it's definitely not going to use a Grass move. I don't think he could have possibly picked a better Pokemon to counter, to have counter Breloom. I would not fear Tropius. Yeah, that's true. Not with Tyranitar. I fear it with Breloom. I could, uh, you know, maybe this is the time to Dragon Dance. Maybe I should just beef up my Tyranitar and sweep. Staraptor. Uh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Let's see. Do I have anything else that I can use against Star Raptor? Not really. I have nothing good against it. So I'll just have to, uh... I'll just have to out-swing out, out it. I like his throw animation. Yeah. Intimidate this. Wanders his lead anyway. Uh, uh, do you dare suggest that a Pokemon game single player has poor trainer AI? How dare you? So, okay, we know who the final Elite Four member is then. It's Snake. I'm, a, I'm still going to guess that he's Dragon-type. Uh, is Yuki fast enough to get the hit in on Altaria? I remember Altaria being 
a massive pain in Gen 3. Maybe that's just from our playthrough. Maybe it's just because Jack was underleveled for it. Alright, what else you got? Oracorio. Well, that doesn't help. Which one? Alright, Sandstorm, you're back up. What would be the worst one? Uh well no, none of them are none of them are a threat to Tyranitar. Never mind. I'm good. I don't think Oracorio can learn close combat. Does it have cheerleader kung fu to use on me? Do you think they'll ever have a Pokemon move that is, like, it transforms into a type that will be super effective on the opponent? So it's just basically an always super effective hit. Shadow type doesn't count. That would be scary against Pokemon with uh, four times weaknesses if it could turn into those. It would also certainly have to be on a Pokemon that was just garbage otherwise. In an attempt to balance the gimmick. Oh, Flamigo is going to get to fly. However, it still knows fighting moves, so I don't think I want to keep Tyranitar out. Uh... I, I guess I can swap to, uh, I can swap to Yuki. It's also going to be... It's also weak against, but it's not four times weak, at least. I don't know how fast Flamigo is. Either I'll hit first, and I can probably take it out. This is going to terrorize. Flamigo is finally going to get to fly. Or, very possible... I'll, uh, I'll just, I'll eat shit, and I'll have to swap off Tyranitar. I like how they use Terrestrialization to, uh, convert Pokemon that look like they should be a different type. They know what they're doing. Alright, defense fell, that's good for me. I got revives. I got plenty. I'll be fine. Oh, that's right. It also still gets stabbed from its fighting moves, even after it terrestrializes. Ooh, that hurt more than I thought it would. It's now two defenses down, though, so maybe this will finish it. And if not, maybe the Sandstorm will. Okay, I'm good. So graceful. I'm sorry, Larry. I'm sorry for your life. Working two jobs. Slave to your boss. Maybe La Primera is a nice boss. Jita seems nice. You're a lot stronger than I remember. Guess the final Elite Four member is next. Here he comes. Don't think he heard you, Larry. Is he, is he gonna come out in costume? Does he have like a superhero costume that's gonna be like dragon themed? I'm still guessing dragon. Asshole. Nope, he's, he's just got his outfit. Hello there. Delights me to see you here. 
As for you, Larry, I see you made Rika do the shouting again. Pay deduction. The one thing I don't like about auto heal is that it probably used a potion to heal like 4 HP. Those are valuable. I don't want to waste my potions. Look, I've only got four of them. Alright. So, guessing he's dragon. I'm still- I, that's still just a guess. I'm gonna play it safe, quote-unquote, and I'm still gonna open with Brelum. Spore is just a nice thing to have as an opening move. I was absolutely certain you would make it to me eventually. Young Sprouts. Is he grass? Oh, I hope not. Maybe he's not being punny. He's talking about growth and Sprouts. Wield all my might for the sole purpose of de Okay, I, I lost the Snape. Yep, the dragon. Well, that was kind of predictable. Maybe I'm just thinking like a game designer. Maybe, maybe that's why I got them. So, if that's the case, if they are using uh, the types of the Titans, because those weren't as prominent... La Primera could be a rock type. I'm still probably gonna guess that she just doesn't have a uh, doesn't have a specialty though. Oh, it's faster than me. Rest in peace, mushroom. You never got to spore anyone. Oh, it's laughing at me now. Ugh, it's gonna be super. I will be four times, but, uh... Okay, I got it. Flapple. Grass dragon. <laughs> Is it faster than me? It, it's... He's choosing to swap in a four times weak Pokemon to ice. He must have a plan, right? I'm faster. All right, good plan, idiot. Drag ouch. Dragon poison. Good psychic. I don't know if I want to bring up a sandstorm yet. also stand to heal Yuki. Yuki is also out of the uh, Icicle Crash, which is not great. Honestly, I probably should have restored that before the fight. Oh, it has Hydro Pump. Okay. That's alright. It has non-stab Hydro Pump. And I don't know if it's a special attacker. Saurus, pure dragon. You know what? I haven't gotten the chance to use this move yet. This isn't a, this isn't his final one, is it? No, he's got one after this. All right, Glaive Rush. Let's go. Uh oh. Tyranitar, or do I give him the hammer? I 
don't think Haxorus would have a fighting type move. Might have Earthquake. It has Iron Head. That's alright, I got some physical defense. Uh, do I want to heal, is what I'm thinking. You know what? No, I got, uh, I got Tandem House. I still got my Ace. That would have been a good time to use a Dragon Dance. Yeah, well, I don't know what his final Pokemon is. He's going to swap into, like, I don't know, Como-O. Oh, of course he, okay, he has Baxcalibur. Of course he does. Well, I would have liked to, uh... No, he's going to Terrestrialize it. It's going to lose the Ice-type. So Stone Edge will not be super effective. And, uh, Gigaton will not be super effective. We'll still hit hard. He's very, he's very supportive, despite being such a dour-looking dude. Oh, I should have played rough. Alright, what does the dragon type look like? I don't know if I've seen a dragon terrestrialization yet. Is it a big, scary dragon face? It's like a full... It's like a full statue, a full bust. Well, this is still, in theory, a good matchup. I'll bet two play roughs would have done it. I might still win with the Sandstorm, even. Death by Sandstorm? Oh, not quite. That's all right. <laughs> For some reason, I'm faster. Oh, come on! Fine. Death by Sandstorm. Never mind. I could bring the Sandstorm out again. Should have used the accurate move. How fast is Tandem Mouse? Is fast. Get a mouse. I'm gonna be real insulting. Eat shit. Yeah, get out of here, Snape. The mighty dragon has been felled. Population Bomb did have a 1% chance of missing. Although 100 accuracy move is not 100% guaranteed to hit. I don't remember what exactly the formula is. Wonder Bull? Oh, oh, he's, he's like, he's crying. Don't cry, Grandpa Hassle. Want a hug? He's, he's so moved that his student would have come so far. His student that he has literally never met. Who has never attended a single one of his classes. 100% accurate moves will always hit. No, they won't. No, 100 accuracy is not 100% can't miss accuracy. Alright, I beat the Elite Four. Go me. I did beautifully. Alright, the final trial. Do I have to beat La Primera? The top champion. Our fearless commander. 
she was able to strong arm all of us into joining the elite four. I'm sorry, you didn't want to be here? What do you, what do you mean strong arm? That that sound that's problematic language. I don't like that you suggested that that like she she forced you into this. Oh, and we get a free heal. That's just that's lovely. Thank you, Snape. I wonder if I would have gotten a hint that he was a dragon trainer had I attended any of his classes. I went into this with no research. Alright, what do you guys got to say? Thank you, Larry. I'm gonna stick with my mushroom. My mushroom needs redemption. I need to prove that it's a good idea to lead with Brellum. I'm sorry, in Gen 2, females had a dodge chance and males had a crit chance? Okay, that's news to me. Welcome! Thank you, Jita. Gives me great joy that you managed to make it all the way to the pinnacle of the Pokemon League. I was on the roof before I went in the front door. <laughs> this is supposed to be like the final location in the game, and I just, I landed here earlier like it was nothing. Before we get started, I should apologize for one thing. I have a trait that some might say is inappropriate for the League Chairwoman. Oh, you just, she can't hold back. She is Vegeta. Maybe that's why nobody's passed recently. It's a bit of a problem, to be honest. You, you might manage something wonderful, like Nimona did. Like Goku did. Let's fight the oil spill. Them's nice shoes. Vegeta is very fashionable. Alright, first up is the psychic bird. It's not great. <laughs> am I am I fast enough to spore? Please? I could spore. Okay, so either one of two things. Either it's going to use a psychic attack move because I'm fighting type, in which case I can switch into uh, Tyranitar and avoid that. Or it's a... Or she's going to use a setup move like Reflect or something, in which case I should spore. Bird is fast. Okay, so it'll, be, it'll move before me no matter what I do. Got it. Two out of five on Breloom leads. Was I able to spore like any of the any of the gym leaders? I thought I thought I, of the of the elite four. I thought I swapped out immediately every time. Uh oh, it has a fairy move. That was a crit. What's the matter? You're not one to let something... Yeah, you're right. That was an insignificant hit. I am not flustered. Oh, a critical hit. Poor thing. She was so proud of that. Oh, that's right. I, I did get Whiskash. I was able to... Uh... She took out, like... A third of my health with a critical hit, and she's like, Oh, you gonna cry? You feeling bad? Avalug? What are you, what are you doing with Avalug? 
Uh, I could Stone Edge, but Avalog has, like, physical defense, right? Maybe I should Samus. Or Amy Rose. I don't remember what Avalug's special defense is like. Usually that's a thing for ice types, but I'm pretty sure Avalug is, like, really high physical defense. Yeah, alright. Good choice. King Gambit. I don't know what that is. That's not the treasure chest evolution, I don't think. Uh... I also can't assume it's going to be a type that's super against Samus, because the AI is not smart enough to do that. I guess I'll just, uh... A Tyranitar, or I could go with the, uh, the Steel Gigaton Hammer. Usually safe. I'll go back to Tyranitar. I like his, I like his, uh, his coverage. He's a good failsafe. Oh, get out of here. Uh, it's some kind of samurai bug. It's a Shogun Insect. Sorry, I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to get rid of the bot and my internet is being very slow. Darian, are you? Darian's not here, I don't think. He's a, he's a, he's a moderator on YouTube. Uh, well, it's a bug, so I would assume that I can hit it with rock. Is it bug steel? Is it bug fighting? It's bug dodgy. Alright. I'm gonna guess bug steel. In which case, why the fuck would she swap that into my fire type Samus? That's the Bisharp Eva. What? No. It turns into a beetle? Kowtow cleave. Alright. Guessing that's a dark type move. So it's dark steel. Fighting is four times effective. How fast is it? Probably pretty fast, isn't it? Not faster than my mushroom! Yeah, Bre win for Breloom. Carry that W. Go, go. You're the champion, and you got a go-go. She's got some weird Pokemon on her team. Very strange choices. Weird is a good way to put it. Smart. I mean, never miss me. Veluza. That's water psychic. Is that our last Pokemon? I haven't been paying attention. Uh, hmm. I don't remember how fast Veluza is. I want to see the, dra the dragon move. Don't worry, I'll go use it on, like, a level 2 Pidgey. 
after this battle. Brelum, I need you again. I ironically like Go Goat though. Is uh is Skiddo any good in Little Cup? I have no idea what her Terra type could be. Well, finally, I just needed a trainer with like the most absolute stupid taste in Pokemon to uh, outspeed everything with my Mushroom. Veluza moves so fast in the overworld for no reason. Glimora, that's the that that's the thing, that's the evolution of the thing we saw in the cave and never evolved. What was that? It was rock poison, I believe? Well, if it's rock type, I could use my steel thing. But uh I think I pretty much got this in the bag, so I, I will I will do a solid. And I will see how well the dragon move hits. I'm gonna eat shit afterwards. Her whole team is a hard fail. It's a it's a pretty bad team for a champion. I was surprised that Cynthia had a uh, had a sh uh, Gastiodon on her team. That's like a really early game Pokemon to be on the champion's team. All right, what's her Terra type? Is it Rock? Is it Poison? Is it something completely different? It's Rock. Uh oh. Okay. That sure was a move. It has toxic debris. That's not great. Rock poison. I don't have anything great for that. Wait, I can keep using it. Never mind. I I I don't know why I thought, oh, this is like the hammer move. I shouldn't use it twice in a row. This is what it takes to be at the top. She's got like an ego. Some might say she has an ultra ego. Giant hammer. I didn't even need to terrestrialize. I did not need my, uh... I did not need my mouse cheese for the Elite Four and Champion. But now comes the real final boss. Now comes Nimona. Right? I gotta fight her after the, after the regular Champion. go beyond my imagination. Get better Pokemon, idiot. Such overwhelming power. Such amazing skill. See, that's right. I defeated Vegeta, but he's not the best. My, the final boss is Goku. It's my honor to call you champion. Thanks. Now you're really good to go. Why does she wear a visor? That's like a, that's like a thing middle-aged people wear. Why why is like a, a baby wearing a visor? I, I guess it's supposed to be it's supposed to resemble like a bonnet, but no one wears bonnets anymore, so that's the next best thing. Yeah, I'm going to set an example for all the trainers. Let's walk back to the entrance. Alternatively, I could just jump down. I've got great legs. Yep, 
I became a champion, not the champion. It's kind of a hollow victory, knowing that I am still of a lower rank than this idiot here. No. 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 You! Champion! Yes! <laughs> That's her... She has... When you, you fuck with her enough, she reduces to caveman. Okay. I got word from La Primera when you cleared the elite test. I'm a champion, and now you're a champion. What means we're true equals, if you say so. Let's you and me be best rivals for life. No. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but let's have our Nomona battle. Well, let, let me, like, heal and save first. Yes, thank you, Vegeta. Especially that Breloom. I like that one! I don't remember who Nimona opens with. She's had a different team every time, so, uh... It's probably gonna be a completely different team. Is this really where you want your, your final battle to be? Where are we gonna go? Surely there's somewhere more fitting than that. A place with special meaning. We're going back to the beach, aren't we? The Treasure Eatery. We don't really fight there if I choose that, do we? Oh, that's where Larry was. I guess it does bring back memories of Larry. Ah, Larry. Larry may not appreciate the surprise visit. Haven't seen... Uh, well, I would assume that it wasn't Mesa Goza, that it was behind the house. Aw. No, that, that's, that's like the most special place, though. I already fought the, 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 the... I fought Penny and Clive in Mesa Goza. That one's taken. Remember back when Director Clavel explained the treasure hunt? Oh yeah, that is a thing we've been doing. I know what treasure I got. I found a true rival. Forget Vegeta, I guess. I, I like the beach better. That that seems like it would be a more symbolic final place for us. I don't know. I am known as La Primera, but even when facing me in the final test, Champion Nimona didn't reveal her full might. Really? You're saying that she didn't have to use her full strength to take out your team of uh, choice Pokemon? Is she the new worst champion? Who else was in the running? Pe people didn't love Lance in Gen 2. I I think, like, Wallace in Emerald was pretty stupid. Diantha was, was kind of divisive. Just because she, she was so, like, by the numbers. Her team is horrible, yeah, I just mean just overall, like as a character, everything. Remove that. The Toxic Spike Setter as her Ace Mon. Right, you'd think that, uh, logically that should be like the first thing she puts out. Also, did my, uh, did my Pokemon even get poisoned? 
No, because it was a steel type, so it's uh, it's immune to toxic spikes, right? Steel type, because it holds a steel hammer. I think I'll have time to take out Nimona, and that will be the end of the stream. And then, uh, hopefully, we'll be able to, I guess, raid Area Zero next time. That will be the, the end, end stream. Maybe I'll be able to get to that Thursday. Do, like, a, a, a tail end of the game and also post-game stream. King Gambit's new ability is it gets an attack multiplier for every Pokemon that's already fainted. Yeah, that's a pretty good argument for it being the final Pokemon. Oh, there's an audience. Nimona is, is known. She's pretty famous. Our final opponent. The class representative. Man, high school is such an important time. Even Larry is here. Full fruition. She's still making fruit puns. Alright, here we go. Just trainer. Champion Nimona. I guess that counts. Lycanroc. How fast is Lycanroc? I don't remember. We both got freckles. I, I, don't, I don't know why, it just never occurred to me that she had freckles before now. It's faster than me, and it's setting up Stealth Rock. That's gonna be annoying. I have no way of clearing that. Probably could have close combated. Nah, I'm fine. To think I helped teach you tight matchups. No, you, you really didn't, Namona. Gudra. Should I spore it first, is what I'm thinking. I don't remember how fast Gudra is. It's also entirely possible I'll just wake up as soon as I swap, anyway. This might not even make it. Okay, it's faster than me. Once again, I put too much faith in the mushroom. Oh, no! Breloom is very slow. Oh, it's not that slow, is it? I mean, it's, it's not, like, super fast, but... I think 109. It's faster than Samus. Faster than Tyranitar. It's middling. Eh. Well, I can't spore it, unfortunately. It's going to probably use ice again. I don't really have anything terrific at taking that. Am I just gonna have to... Yuki, it's neutral on Yuki. I wonder what the fastest Pokemon that can learn Spore is. Oh, it's faster than, uh, faster than her as well. Gudra is not a Pokemon that screams speed to me on the outset.
I also once again forgot that uh, Fairy is super effective on Dragon. What else you got? Orthworm. What if she just had a team full of pseudo legendaries? That'd be neat. There's certainly enough of them in this game. Then again, she would it would be a disproportionately dragon focused team. I still need uh most of the version exclusives my Pokedex. I'll have to, I'll have to trade those with people at some point. I'm missing, like, Mistrevis, Dreepy. I never saw the, uh, the version exclusive Tauros. Certainly I'm faster than Dunsparce. Right? Because I don't fully remember what its uh, what its abilities are. Tyranitar and Metagross are somehow still the only non-dragon pseudos. Yeah. And Metagross isn't in this game, is he? Oh, that's a. Th she's got a, a three segment Dudun Sparse. Uh, Palmot. Alright, <laughs> Fighting Electric. What do I got for that? Got Psychic. Also got Tyranitar. Well, no, I don't want to send him out against a Fighting type. Stones, though, man. The stones. Uh, I'm probably going to die. I feel inevitably, all of my opponent's Pokemon are always faster than I am. Yeah. Used up all its electricity. What does that mean? It's no longer an electric type? I still got my ace. Oh, that hurt. Loses electric type. Interesting. Well, this isn't looking great. What do I have that can... Uh, I could try to outspeed it. I could, I could use my mouse. I don't really like uh, using it so early, and I especially don't like that if it does get outsped. That's it. I just I wasted my mouse. She's got two Pokemon left. I'm out of other options though because that thing will definitely outspeed, and it will just it will annihilate Tyranitar. Okay, good. I am faster. As long as I don't hit the 1% miss. Oh, that's, that's like, it's got no defense. What?
I'm mad. Well, hmm. Close combat is neutral on Brellum. Do you suppose it could survive a hit if it had full health? My other options are what, Samus? I, I might have to revive Samus. I'm gonna save Tyrant. I'm gonna save Junior. I don't want to rely on my mushroom for my potentially final team member. Well, I've saved them up until now, if ever there was a time to finally use a Max Revive. Oh, it's got Ice Punch. Well, now I know. Fortunately, Ice Punch is still not, uh... Still not strong against Samus. The question now is, does it have a dark move? It can't... It can't use its electric thing... Or can it use its electric thing again? It has an electric move, it has close combat, it has ice punch, or whatever it just did. And its fourth move is still unknown. It has quick attack. Alright, good hit. You sure showed me. If I didn't use items, like she is not going to use items, I would have lost this. Yaskarada. Okay. Well, that's, uh, hmm. That's good for my fire type, but it's bad for my psychic type. As long as it doesn't know any fighting moves, I, I should be able to survive a grass move with Tyranitar. What, it's a 70 power move that always crits. And she's probably going to Terrestrialize, so let's see. 70 power up to 140 power plus crits, so it'll be a 210 power grass hit. And it's special, I believe. Which isn't great, but I have Sandstorm to boost my special defense. Could I outspeed it even with Dragon Dance, I wonder? I'm, I'm gonna bank on it. Oh, it's physical, the grass move? Not a chance. Oh. I didn't even consider what level it is. What's the level difference like? Alright, flower trick. How bad is this? It's bad! Alright. So, uh, hmm. I could sandstorm it to death. Uh, hmm. Thus begins the, uh... Thus begins the revive train. I got 11 of them. That's actually not enough to sandstorm it to death. So what does it have? It has dark type, it has grass type. Yuki could be the answer. Yuki or, uh, the, 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 the hammer. Oh, take a ton. Dark type and grass will also be weak on mushroom. I'm gonna start with Yuki. Tinkaton probably resists whatever it has. Also, what am I doing using normal? Because I have max revives. Time to see if it has any, uh... Why Shadow Claw and not a Dark move? Does it not have a Dark move? That would be weird.
it has a fairy type move. All right, well, my dragon is definitely not going to... It's it's going to die. It's not going to move faster than the cat. Let me just revive my mushroom so I have one more Pokemon. Except, no, if it has Play Rough, that's going to be super effective on Brellum. So it, it has coverage for all of my team members except for... Uh, Except for Amy Rose and for uh, the mouse. But the mouse is not really built for, like, taking hits, so. Here we go, I guess. I could bug. That's super effective. That would be 140 versus... Uh, that's 240 if I use Gigaton. What is Skid... Oh, Skitter Smack also lowers its special attack, though, doesn't it? What does it do? Yeah, also lowers special attack. It's, you said Flower Trick is, uh... Is physical, though. Oh, no! I didn't think that would do, do so much. I think I still got this, but it's, uh, it's coming down to the wire. I'm, I'm gonna have to use all three of my max revives on this fight. Which is a shame, because items are, like, super rare in this game. Slash sarcasm. Damn, she's giving you the work. She must be the topper champion. Oh, it's an overgrow. That's why it did so much. Yeah, crazy how uh, Nimona is able to outfight La Primera. Probably because she has, like, an actual competent, thought-out Pokemon team. At least for single player. Okay, don't miss. Don't miss. Please don't fucking miss your giant hammer. Like a cartoon character. I'm just gonna smash the hell out of this cat. I know what you're saying. Gigaton Hammer can't miss. Oh. Did she just dab? That's very close to a dab. You did it! This is legit incredible! Thanks, Goku. You knocked me flat, and I was giving you absolutely everything I had! Yeah. I'm glad I made Goku happy. Thanks for that incredible match. You beat me for real this time. I just had to item spam like a bitch. That's all it took. Now let's give ourselves a minute and have a quick break. Before round two! I'm out of revives. I can't do round two. More of My Hero Academia music plays in the background. That show got good. I'm actually I'm I'm like one more one more episoding it through uh, season four. Season four finally caught my interest. Still probably not worth worth watching the rest of it, but. Uh... All right, Arvin is here. Seems like you're hearing your voice has old Mabostiff here all worked up. That's not why I called. Nearly forgot. Remember what we talked about before? Yeah? 
about to go to Area Zero. No, I forgot. Uh, try to take this seriously, you donkey. All the effort you've been putting in around Paldia has really helped you make a name for yourself. Built up some goodwill, that's for sure. I've been able to secure two allies who want to go to Area Zero with us. They should have us ready to tackle anything. Alright, Zero, wherever the Zero Gate is. I'm guessing that's probably like the, the water area we saw. Yeah, that looks about right. Probably not water, it was just blue on the map because it's blue in real life. Alright, well, GG's. Uh, Breloom is an incredible lead Pokemon. I will not I will not hear otherwise. The champion was kind of a pushover. Nimona pushed me over. And I smashed a cat. All in all, a good stream. Thank you guys for watching. I am probably going to try to do the post-game stream on Thursday. Is what I'm going to aim for. And, uh... Probably finish this up in seven streams. This was stream six, next will be stream seven. Thank you guys for hanging out, and I will see you next time.